Top 10 Causes of Blood Cancer You Should Not Ignore Today, we're delving into a topic that touches the lives of many, blood cancer. Blood cancer, also known as hematologic cancer, refers to cancers that affect the blood, bone marrow, and lymphatic system. From genetic factors to environmental influences, we'll explore the intricate web of causes behind these hematologic malignancies. If you're new here, consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell so you never miss out on our deep dives into crucial health topics. Without further ado, let's unravel the mysteries behind the top 10 causes of blood cancer. Let's get started. Number 1. Genetic Factors Genetic factors play a pivotal role in the onset of blood cancer, contributing significantly to its development. Inherited genetic mutations, passed down through families, can heighten susceptibility to certain types of blood cancers like leukemia, lymphoma, and myeloma. These mutations may disrupt the normal functioning of blood cells, leading to uncontrolled growth and malignancy. Understanding and identifying these genetic predispositions is crucial for assessing an individual's risk and implementing targeted preventive measures. Genetic counseling and testing can provide valuable insights assisting in early detection and personalized management strategies for those with an elevated familial risk of blood cancer. Number 2. Age. Advancing age stands as a prominent risk factor for blood cancer, with incidence rates rising significantly in older populations. While hematologic malignancies can affect individuals of all ages, the risk escalates as cells undergo cumulative genetic alterations over time. The aging process may compromise the body's ability to regulate cell division and repair DNA damage, fostering an environment conducive to the development of blood cancers such as leukemia, lymphoma, and myeloma. Vigilant monitoring and awareness of age-related risk factors become crucial, emphasizing the importance of regular health checkups, especially for those in the higher age brackets to facilitate early detection and intervention. Number 3. Gender. Gender dynamics play a role in the landscape of blood cancer, exhibiting variations in susceptibility. Certain types, like lymphomas, manifest a higher prevalence in males, while myelomas show a predilection for males over females. The intricate interplay of hormonal and biological differences contributes to these disparities. Hormonal fluctuations and genetic variances may influence the initiation and progression of blood cancers in a gender-specific manner. These distinctions underscore the importance of tailored approaches to screening, diagnosis, and treatment, recognizing the nuanced impact that gender can have on the manifestation and progression of hematologic malignancies. Comprehensive healthcare strategies should consider gender-specific risk factors to enhance preventive measures and outcomes. Number 4. Exposure to Radiation Radiation exposure emerges as a significant factor influencing the development of blood cancer. Prolonged or intense exposure to ionizing radiation, whether from medical treatments, occupational hazards or environmental sources, can heighten the risk. Ionizing radiation possesses the potential to damage the DNA within blood cells, triggering genetic mutations and abnormalities that may lead to the onset of leukemia, lymphoma, or myeloma. Medical treatments like radiation therapy, while vital in cancer management, underscore the delicate balance. Between therapeutic benefits and potential long-term risks, monitoring and minimizing unnecessary exposure become imperative, emphasizing the importance of stringent safety measures in various settings. Number 5. Chemical exposure. Chemical exposure constitutes a noteworthy risk factor in the complex landscape of blood cancer development. Certain chemicals, including benzene and specific pesticides, have been linked to an increased susceptibility to hematologic malignancies. Benzene, a common industrial solvent, is known for its carcinogenic properties and has been associated with the development of leukemia, disrupting normal blood cell production. Likewise, exposure to certain pesticides, prevalent in agricultural and industrial settings, may contribute to the risk of blood cancer. Vigilance in occupational and environmental settings, coupled with adherence to safety regulations, becomes crucial in mitigating potential chemical-related risks and safeguarding against hematologic malignancies. 
Number 6. Viral infections. Viral infections emerge as potential contributors to the intricate tapestry of blood cancer etiology. Viruses such as Epstein-Barr virus EBV, human T-cell lymphotropic virus HTLV-1, and human immunodeficiency virus HIV, have been implicated in the development of specific hematologic malignancies. These infections can alter the genetic makeup of blood cells, disrupting their normal function and potentially leading to uncontrolled growth. Understanding and monitoring viral exposure become vital in assessing blood cancer risk. Underscoring the importance of preventive measures, vaccination, and antiviral treatments in certain contexts. The interplay between viral infections and blood cancer highlights the multifaceted nature of these diseases. Number 7. Immune System Disorders Immune system disorders cast a shadow on blood cancer risk, as conditions affecting immune function may contribute to hematologic malignancies. Autoimmune diseases and immune deficiencies compromise the body's ability to regulate and defend against abnormal cell growth, potentially fostering an environment conducive to blood cancer development. Disorders like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and certain immunodeficiencies underscore the intricate relationship between immune function and hematologic health. Heightened vigilance in monitoring and managing these conditions is crucial. Emphasizing the need for collaborative care between rheumatologists, immunologists, and hematologists to mitigate the potential risk and detect blood cancers at their earliest stages. Number 8. Previous Cancer Treatment Previous cancer treatments, particularly chemotherapy and radiation therapy, introduce a paradoxical aspect to blood cancer risk. While these treatments aim to combat cancer, they may inadvertently contribute to the development of secondary hematologic malignancies. The DNA-altering effects of these therapies on healthy cells can lead to genetic mutations, potentially triggering leukemia or myelodysplastic syndromes. This underscores the delicate balance in cancer care, where the benefits of treatment must be weighed against potential long-term risks. Ongoing monitoring and survivorship care become crucial, emphasizing the need for personalized follow-up strategies to detect and address any emerging blood cancer concerns in cancer survivors. Number 9. Family history, a familial predisposition to blood cancer amplifies individual risk. As a close family history of hematologic malignancies, such as leukemia, lymphoma, or myeloma, elevates susceptibility. Shared genetic factors among family members may contribute to the clustering of these diseases. Understanding the familial context becomes paramount in assessing an individual's risk profile, prompting heightened vigilance and proactive health management. Genetic counseling and testing may offer insights into inherited factors facilitating early detection and tailored preventive measures. As a key determinant in the intricate web of blood cancer causation, familial history underscores the importance of comprehensive healthcare strategies for those with familial predispositions. Number 10. Certain medical conditions. Certain medical conditions create a fertile ground for the genesis of blood cancer, accentuating the interplay between health and hematologic malignancies. Disorders such as myelodysplastic syndromes, MDs, and specific bone marrow conditions heighten the risk of developing blood cancer. These conditions involve abnormalities in blood cell production and function, setting the stage for the potential progression to leukemia or related malignancies. Monitoring and managing these PRE existing conditions become paramount in preempting the onset of blood cancer, highlighting the need for comprehensive healthcare approaches. Understanding the intricate connections between underlying health conditions and hematologic risks is crucial for targeted prevention and early intervention. Summary. Blood cancer, a complex group of diseases affecting the blood, bone marrow, and lymphatic system involves various factors contributing to its development. This summary highlights the top 10 causes associated with blood cancer from genetic predispositions and advancing age to gender dynamics. Environmental exposures and medical history, these factors intricately influence susceptibility. Viral infections, immune system disorders, chemical exposures, and prior cancer treatments also play pivotal roles. Understanding this multifaceted landscape is crucial for risk assessment, early detection, 
and the formulation of targeted prevention and intervention strategies, recognizing the diverse factors contributing to blood cancer, underscores the need for personalized healthcare approaches in its management. Thank you for tuning into our exploration of the top 10 causes of blood cancer. If you found this information insightful, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more engaging content. If you or someone you know has been affected by blood cancer, consider sharing your experiences or insights in the comments below. Let's build a supportive community. Remember, knowledge is a powerful tool, and by staying informed, we can work towards a healthier future together. Until next time, take care and stay well.